Chess amigos, welcome back. I'm a little pressed for time today, so I can't do my usual 10.15 anymore. Appreciate the pawns, sir. I, I do thank you <laughs> so, so much. I'll take a free pawn any day of the week. Uh, I don't quite... Mm, this makes it slightly awkward. Let me think about this. Can I just go for the queen or something? No, let's think, let's think. I don't want to block the bishop in. Okay, that's actually really good. How do I want to do this? Do we just try to land the bishop on like d4 or something? Oh, I shouldn't think about this this hard. Can I just go back? Um, maybe we'll just trade off. I need to remember this piece is, uh, B2 is more or less hung. Um, okay. I really just want to go get his knight over there on c6, um, to tell you the truth. I'd be A-OK -okay if he just stacks his pawns on c6 here. Okay, well. Hmm. It's going to be a bit tough. Uh, gosh, yeah, now he's got... Uh, maybe I just let him take here and then I can retake with the knight. Um, honestly, it's a bit wacky, but fine. It's an even trade, so whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to go G3. It's going to force both of the pawns out. Let's think about this. I wonder if I can play anything else. Forcing. I was thinking like knight b4. Sort of pressure his bishop. Maybe I just give him a bishop. I mean, I, I do have two defenders on d4. And then I do attack his queen after that. I'm going to do it. Um, maybe this move will come back to haunt me. But I just feel like I have the advantage on d4 here. And it more or less is an even trade. Um, I know that causes some complications. Hmm. Maybe this isn't an even trade because he gets a pawn after this. I'm hoping he just, yeah, does that. It's actually really good for me. Uh, it's probably a good time to get the queen out. Yeah, that's really good. I think he should have taken the bishop. That's just my perspective on life. I'd like to keep the pawn defending there. Got a hanging pawn. I imagine he'll defend it. I need to just start developing some pieces um, or castle myself. I'm going to choose to castle. I think that was expected. Hmm. It 
What's his weakest piece? Shouldn't think, shouldn't think too hard about this, but I want to make sure that my queen has like an escape score at some point. I'll play it safe. Okay. Uh, back where we started. Okay. Hey man, you do you. <laughs> I could do this all day, I guess. I'm just going to play real safe. I want him to push one more pawn so I can just take with the knight. Oh, I see what he's doing. I think he's just going to push this on. I almost didn't notice that. Um, my piece was kind of hanging there. I think I have to go knight d2 next uh, to protect b3. Yeah. Uh, do I just push up at this point? I think I just push up, right? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, what's the play here? There's something more damaging I can do here in the meantime. I don't know if that was the play. I think it was the play. I think that was the play. Queen's in a pretty unfortunate spot. Maybe I go d2 next. Just add another defender. Also attack his, uh, his pawn there. Hmm. Isn't that just a free pawn? It's just a free pawn, right? I really want to stack the pawns, though, is the thing. I'm going to opt to just sort of protect and attack these pieces. Also, he would have a he would have had a sort of a nasty attack there if I would have if I would have went uh, c4. Okay, I need to play carefully here. Could always back, go back, uh, B2, try to get this pawn. Could protect H2. Hmm. I could go for his bishop as well. Really? What is he going after here? Ah. Bit of a forced move there. Had to move back to safety. Yeah, my bishop was just hanging there. Uh, fortunately, the knight's protected. His pawn is hanging still. He doesn't have a great way to protect it. Fortunately, my knight kind of protects his protection on this pawn. 
e5 and a5. Um, which way do I want to go? Might come back and bite me in the butt. Why do I add a defender there? Sounds like I kind of just have to push up here. Um, let's see. Can't really attack. Uh, I think I'm forced to just push up here. He's going for the pawn. That's fine. That's defended, but now my queen's a little bit stuck. Let's see. Yeah, I have to leave a defender. I don't know how else he can attack that. I'll attack his bishop. I do have a really nasty fork. Uh, if I can get, if I can get my knight out onto e7, it's just gonna take too long to reroute to there though. So um, I'll pressure pressure his bishop. Okay, I'll opt for the trade. Um, don't really want to give up. Don't really want to give up this pawn quite yet. I need to figure out a way to defend it. Maybe just defending it with the king is the play. So I can at least get my queen out and, uh, Try to get rid of his past pawn, or not his past pawn, but his sort of pushed up pawn there. I may just go radio silent for the rest of this video too. Hmm. This is a bit unfortunate. But I think it kind of has to be done. Um, okay, that's fine. He's got... Uh, let's see. Pressure the queen. You have an open file for my rook. Kind of wouldn't mind just trading rooks off as well. He's protecting his queen or uh, that pawn now. Hmm. Go for the rook trade. Hmm. I see. Okay. Check. Should be a free pawn. I really want to go knight d1, um, just pick up, uh, okay, um, let's see, I need to defend this, <gasps> 
I had mate, bro. Oh, I had mate. Oh, I should have pre-moved that. Damn. Man, I could have just pre-moved that in one. Damn. Oh, that feels so bad, bro. Oh, that would have been so easy. Oh, man, crazy. How long did I have to make that? Two seconds. Yeah. Man. I, I honestly, I would have went for pre-move. I just, I, I, I really had no idea where he was going next. And uh, he just made a really poor move. Oh, man, feels bad. Feels bad. Yeah, this move is very passive. This was just mate. Oh, I was really expecting him to um, just go somewhere where his rook and queen were, queen were on the same file. Okay, let's do a quick game review. Ugh, so frustrating. So frustrating. That was just maiden one, right? Yeah, maiden one. Ah, oh, feels bad. Let's look at the key positions. Yeah, my goal was just to pressure his queen as much as possible. Oh, looks like I had a hanging pawn here. You didn't notice? Hmm. Why didn't I take the hanging pawn? Hmm. Well, I didn't take the hanging pawn because he was going to take with the queen here. And I don't know. I just wanted pawns in front of the king. Um, I had a really open position here. Still can't get over that last move. Yeah, that was the main idea here. Man, wouldn't this just have to be done so my queen could go do other stuff? Take the pawn. Oh, the pawn was free. Yeah, I should have went for the pawn there. I wasn't going to win that queen with this move. And I blocked in my queen there, so... Yeah, a bit of a blunder. Oh, this was so bad, huh? Why was this such a blunder? I, I was looking for check, so I, I thought that was going to give me some opportunities to kind of hunt these pawns down. Guess not, though. He permitted the opponent to win a queen by pinning a piece to the king. Oh. Oh. That would have been a really good move if he, if he saw that. Bummer. Bummer deal. Oh, that's a real bummer. That's real unfortunate. What's the good habit? Use pre-moves under 10 seconds. I probably don't do that enough. <laughs> I was just, he was playing okay, so I wasn't expecting him to leave mate like that. But we, well, he wasn't really under time pressure. I was under time pressure, so. Oh, and also that was a free queen. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I was so fixated on f8. I didn't even realize h5 was just a free queen. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. Ah, uh, GG. See you guys tomorrow.